Okay guys, we are back and it's time to wrap things up on a sweet note, sweet ending. So this is one time I am stirring a mixture that smells like Christmas, sorrel, but I don't know what it is. <laughs> because I have a cake artist that's dropping by and I'm, please asking, Stacy, would you Shut take up. over? Yeah, take Shut over. This is, this is Stacy Bunbury and Stacy is of Halo Desserts. She is another student of Chef Cheryl and Short Charles that has gone on to do wonderful things and she's one of the cake artists that's dropping by to show us how you can make some wonderful desserts this Christmas. Welcome. Thank you so much. <laughs> I, I was a little nervous because I didn't know what was happening. I was thinking, what, what, no is, what is that mixture? What is so that mixture? This is actually sugar and your homemade sorrel drink. You could use Granny's drink, you could use Halo's drink, and you are going to make a, a glaze for a creme caramel. So, so that's, just, just, that's just sugar and sorrel? This is sor sugar and sorrel. Oh, so I didn't need to be that nervous. Yeah. <laughs> because I, why was it? Reacting that way because the alcohol from the sorrel drink itself is oh, very oh it's a spiked sugar. sorrel it is a spiked drink so the alcohol in there yes that's okay <laughs> Woo. Yeah, yeah just before we came on it was it was doing all sorts of things so you're making a glaze basically yes I yeah. am nice. so basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let this thicken up right and when it does we're gonna pour it in some ramekins and that's it and, and that's it you mm -hmm. want me you want me to continue stirring yeah, for you while sure. you and, and you, you're actually doing a christmas creme caramel yes i am mm. i am actually making the custard portion of it to taste like a puncha creme so it's a puncha creme caramel so what i'm gonna do is add a couple of ingredients some eggs how many eggs there about six six eggs a tin of condensed milk Whole tin? A whole tin of condensed milk. Yeah, creme caramel is serious. It is yeah. a thick, sweet <laughs> custard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're having a tin of that, a tin of carnation milk. Of carnation milk. Let me clear here for you. We're going to add some bitters and some vanilla essence. Bitters, vanilla essence. Some lime peel. That's an actual lime peel. That is an actual, actual lime, lime peel. peel. Not zest, a lime peel. <laughs> a lime peel. Yeah, it's a little different, yes, yes. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna add about a half a teaspoon of nutmeg. Despite she's using a fork, it's a half a teaspoon. It See, is. Stacey knows what she's doing. <laughs> and, and just a touch of rum. That's rum? Just a touch, only a touch. Okay. What kind of rum is it? It's good rum? <laughs> it's good rum. <laughs> it's good rum. <laughs> And we're going Wait, to just wait, wait, put it hold. <laughs> oh, the touch. <laughs> I like your touch. I like your touch. I like your touch. And then we're going to combine all of this until it's smooth. Okay. So you're going in. And yeah. right, right. So this here is so that's properly good. combined. Yeah. And we're going to set this aside. Right. Remove this peel. Right. So you don't remove the peel now. To to bake, to bake the peel in one of them. No, you no, don't. That's and then we're going to transfer this into this right here is the hardened um, glaze. So we put them in the ramkins. We put the sorrel glaze in the ramkins. So this is hardened. And this is hardened. We leave this, this is, to this chill. This is what I had so here. So that is liquid. Right. And this is when we leave it to chill for a bit. So we, while we're making our custard base, we put our glaze to chill until it's hardened. Chill as in the deep freeze. I mean, yeah. Uh, yeah, in the in the freezer. Yeah. In the freezer and we chill it, yeah, and, and, and freeze then, it. And then we can add our custard base. Oh. Yeah. So how are you doing that? Okay, well we just Right, you have fancy spoons here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you have fancy spoons, yeah. yeah, yeah. No, so no, 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 yeah. We spoon it in. Yeah. I love these spoons. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So let's set this aside. Right. And Bringing that here? Yeah. Let me help you clear there. So we're just gonna get a bit, enough to cover the base of the dessert. And so when we overturn, it's gonna have this beautiful kind of crimson color on right. top. And give it that, fest yes. that festive look. Yeah. So here we have our glaze already in, and right. this is what it looks like set. So we're just gonna simply take our delicious mixture and we're gonna spoon it in to what has already. Mm, so it goes in liquid, liquid like that. And it comes out like a gorgeously textured custard. A gorgeously textured 
custard. <laughs> I could not have described it better myself. <laughs> this is fantastic. So this goes in the oven now. Yeah, it will go in a water bath and into the oven for about 45 minutes. 45 covered, minutes? Covered. Covered as well? Yeah, because the steam, the steam acts as a... Well, it encases it and it allows it to kind of turn into the pudding itself. Right. So right. it's cooked by steam more than by heat. More than by heat, yeah. So it's the water bath steam yeah. comes up. And so this, this guy here is, is what? That is what it will look like. You, you, you would turn it over, so that's why you're getting this. Yes. Can I, can I? Please? Sure, of course. Yeah. Oh my goodness. So this looks divine. I mean, if this, this doesn't look like Christmas, I don't know what <laughs> is. Um, so it's punch creme flavored yeah. with a sorrel glaze. glaze. Yes. And it's Stacy's Christmas Creme Caramel. With rum. <laughs> <laughs> With rum. Um, wow, this is delicious. Thank you. This is delicious. Uh, sometimes the Creme Caramels can be almost sometimes too jiggly. <laughs> jiggly. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you understood that word. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's just but this is this is perfect. Thank you. This is perfect. Thank you very much. You're most Halo welcome. desserts, you're making desserts, you're, you're taking orders for Christmas? Yes, I am. I mm -hmm. do. You can contact me on Facebook, mm -hmm. on Instagram. Um, I do traditional Christmas desserts. <laughs> this is the big boy here. <laughs> <laughs> so that's 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 a big the that big guy to that. this. Yeah, wow. and then what we could actually do is now that this hair has gotten thick, we're gonna switch out this spoon here. And we're gonna actually add some more of this glaze right on top. Oh, you can do that? Yeah, we're gonna do that. Today. You could do that. Oh my goodness. There we go. Oh, help us. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so that looks, yeah, yeah. Guys, check Halo Desserts on social media Facebook, yeah. Instagram, all the platforms. Um, if you're looking for one of these fabulous cakes and you don't wanna make it yourself, <laughs> um, yeah, Stacey can hook you up. Quickly before we go, Stacey. Sure. So you, I, I, you are a student of Chef Cheryl and Chef yes, Charles. Yes, I was. Yeah, you, you learned from her. Yeah, she, no. was, my, <laughs> she was my mentor. She was. She was, yeah. Because I've really learned a lot was. from her as well. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> She's both me, but I've learned a lot. <laughs> but she was your mentor. Yes, yeah, she was. She still is. Still she's is. actually a driving force behind why I continue doing what wow, I do. Wow, wow, wow. As you know, she's a big part of our show. Yeah. And uh, you've gone on as well mm -hmm. to. Liverpool, England, yeah. yes, I which, have. Is, which is which is my my club. Do you know that <laughs> I, I support that club wholeheartedly? Well, I mean, I'm more of a Beatles person myself. Mm, you're not a football girl, but, no. But I hope to get to Liverpool one day. Yeah, yeah I it's hope beautiful. to get to Liverpool. It's beautiful. Yeah. Thank you very much for being here. You're most welcome. Thanks for having me. I'm enjoying this. <laughs>